This traffic source has a potential reach of 12 million people a month. It's an aggregator website that has some handy automation features already built in. And not only can you use it for traffic generation, but you can also use it for content curation too. Welcome to ProfitCopilot.com. My name is Mick Meany, and I have been spending the last 23 years quietly developing some very reliable traffic strategies for my clients. So let's go take a look at this one. So this is the platform. It's called InAllReader.com. I'll take a deep dive into it in a second, but it comes in a few different flavors. So first of all, we have the desktop version. We also have the Android version for mobile phones, iOS and Windows phone as well. So there are also different options available. Let's head to pricing. So today we're going to use the free version, but there are other options available if you want to do more stuff. For example, if you want to access Twitter users and build a database of of people to curate content from, then you can do that. You can do a few fancy things with the uh, paid versions. We don't need to do that today, so we're going to stick with the free one. So let's go ahead and sign in. So you can see that my dashboard has already been populated with some content. So let me walk you through how to use this, because there's a few little things that you really should pay attention to. So on the left hand side, we have this search field. If we type in a keyword, let's go with marketing. We're going to get this drop down list of feeds. So if we click on view all, we're going to see lots of content from lots of different websites and content curators. So we can switch this to something else. Let's go SEO and we'll get a different set of results. Now, the really interesting thing about this is not only can we add these feeds to our own subscriptions, which I'll talk about in a second, in addition to driving traffic to our website, we can also use this for content curation. So for example, if we, if we search for SEO, we can have a look in our own subscriptions, which might not be relevant right now, but we have this feeds option here. We can also look on Reddit. So it's going to search Reddit for SEO related content. So we can see what our marketplace is talking about right now. So we have these subreddits, the most popular subreddits for this keyword. Then we have the latest discussions from Reddit about SEO. So for example, this piece of content was posted to Reddit four minutes ago, this one one minute ago. So there you're going to be able to add this to your content curation mix. I'll speak more about that in a second, but we also have this view all section. So there you will see all the subreddits that are currently talking about SEO. So now you can dive into each one of these, add value, and maybe if the rules allow you to share links in that subreddit, then you will be able to drive traffic. We also have this more section so we can Again, we're searching for SEO, but check this out. If we go to Google News, it will now search Google News for all things relevant to SEO. Now, this is where content curation really comes into play, because if we click subscribe to the search, it's going to allow us to add that to our subscriptions area here. So every time we log into this platform, we can now get the latest content on SEO. And if we go back, we can go back to, well, where is it? Let's go to Reddit and we can do the same with Reddit. So let's click subscribe, subscribe to this search. And there we are. So now we, we get content from two massive platforms. And if you have the premium version, you can also go to Twitter and Facebook pages. You don't actually need that because I think it's going to give us more than enough uh, resources and more, more than enough content that we can bring this into our content curation strategy. And another point, we can also share this content on social media. So if you're struggling for social media ideas, there you have a whole heap of, of content that you can start sharing. Okay, let me show you the big benefit of having your website listed on here. So obviously other people are, are going to be using this for content curation and for keeping up to date with all things relevant to their niche. So it makes sense for you to step in front of those people too. But not only will your content get featured in this drop down menu. So if we type in, yeah, let's go with marketing, if I can even spell it. So marketing. So we want to get your content listed in here. At the very minimum, we want to have a feed section where you are listed because here there's for marketing, 
there's over 2,000 feeds listed. Now that is a broad match keyword. That's a short tail keyword. So we might want to drill down into something like inbound marketing and then we, we should see a reduction. So now it's 64 feeds. So what we're doing here is going from, from a wide niche to a narrow to a narrow and we're drilling down and getting more specific and more targeted traffic as a result. Now we have briefly looked at feeds, we've looked at Reddit and we've looked at this more section for Google News. Now there's one area that we haven't really looked at and that is global. The reason why I haven't shown you that yet is because this section is only available to the paid users, but don't worry, you can still benefit from it too. Even if we can't fully search it, the amount of users that this platform has paying users is enormous. So let me show you what happens if we search for inbound marketing under the global tab. First of all, it's going to prevent full access. That's fine. So now it's asking me to upgrade and check this out. See behind this paywall, we have some indication that there is content available. Let me show you something pretty interesting because if I type in Profit Copilot, watch what happens. So I just want to see that my content is there. It's available at a global level and there it is. So we have 10 free directories to drive traffic to your website. So my content is now is absolutely available to people searching this global section, which is going to be the majority of the paid members. So what that means for you is not only will you access organic traffic with informational intent, you're also going to get in front of people who are known buyers. So if they are willing to pay for content like yours, then chances are they will be more likely to buy your type of, of products and services or purchase the affiliate products that you recommend. So hopefully you can see just how powerful this platform is. So how do we get our content on here? So you can see that it's already indexed 96 of my articles and I've only contributed to this today. Before this morning, I wasn't indexed on here whatsoever. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So we're going to get organized in a second. I think that's very important for this algorithm, but over here, on the subscriptions panel, click this plus icon. This is how you add your content. We click add feed and it will take you to this section. Now you'll notice that it probably starts with tech news. You can go through and view all the different types of feeds available. So go back up to the search bar, type in your website address. Chances are your one is not going to be listed here. So we need to add that here. We can go to the search field. And what I want you to do is paste in a link to your RSS feed. If you're running a WordPress website, then it's going to be your.com forward slash feed. If you're using something other than WordPress, then you need to reach out to your host and ask them to help you find your RSS feed. So here you can see it's already pulled in my RSS feed and it's also pulled in a few of my most recent posts. So if we click on this, it's going to take me directly to my website. Good stuff. Now you need to subscribe to your RSS feed. So click subscribe. It's going to add you to the subscriptions panel there. So there we go, but we're not done yet. So while we've added the feed, we, we now need to create a folder, go to this subscriptions panel again, click the plus icon, and now we add it to a folder. So let's think about the search terms that someone might be using on this platform. For me, it could be digital marketing tips or uh, content marketing strategies. So I might type content marketing strategies, and now it's going to ask me to add one of the, the feeds that I've added to the subscriptions panel. So I will go to my website, click that and then click save. And now it's going to create a brand new section here for content marketing strategies. So there we can see that my website has now been added to that folder and I can actually start doing some pretty advanced stuff. So pay attention. This is going to be really valuable to you. So we have this little drop down arrow, click on that 
and we've got some other options here. So if you do decide to upgrade to the premium version, you can create a rule. So if you click create rule, let's call this cross promote. So for example, we might want to send this to pocket. So every time a new article is, is added to this folder, we can then send it to another service. So for example, Instapaper, Evernote, Pocket, OneNote, we can even send it to Dropbox or Google Drive. So it has a little bit of nice automation built in. And of course, every time you publish on your website, this will automatically pull in the latest posts. So you don't have to go back and manually add them and then they will be available to all the people searching under this global section. But no matter what you choose to do with your digital marketing efforts, you have to be consistent because when you are consistent, you can achieve amazing results like Matt, who's made two million dollars thanks to my training. And if you want to know the secret and you are serious about growing a popular and profitable Internet business, then you need more traffic. So I will give you the secret traffic methods that I never share anywhere else for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. And I'll also put a link in the description too. Also, I've got hundreds more traffic methods just like this one. So this one is going to show you how to drive traffic fast. Thanks for watching. Take care.